Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be going through three of the most popular micro investing apps in Australia, Spaceship, Raise and Comsec Pocket. I'll go into detail about what they are, what they invest in, what the fees are and the pros and cons of using these different apps. So let's dive into the video. But first, what does micro investing actually mean? And who are these products for? I'm glad you asked. Micro investing allows you to invest small amounts of money. And in this case, the investments that you can buy are mainly stocks, typically with other full service brokers, such as CMC Markets, or superhero, they do have minimum investment amounts of from $100 to $500. And they can sometimes be pretty high fees when you're putting money in and also taking money out. So if you're new to investing and you don't have thousands of dollars to invest, micro investing can be a really great way to get started and dip your toes into the investing world. It is important to remember that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. So if you would like help with your investing, it's important to reach out to a professional for some help. So why is it even important to invest in the first place? Well, $10 in 10 years time won't buy the same amount of stuff that it does today. And that's why it's important to invest. If we leave all of our cash in a savings account, which pays 1% interest per year, it's not enough to beat inflation. And that's why it's important to start investing. Not only that, but the earlier you start investing, the more money you'll be able to have by the time you retire because of this beautiful thing called compound interest. And essentially compound interest is the key to getting rich in the long term. As my good friend Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. The people who understand it, earn it. And the people that don't understand it, pay it. So we definitely want to be in the group of people who understands it and is able to earn compound interest on our investments. So if you like compound interest and your money being able to be worth more in time, make sure you smash the like button on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos about investing and personal finance. So first up, let's talk about Spaceship. Spaceship Voyager is an Australian micro investing platform. They have over 175,000 investors in Australia and it's one of the biggest micro investing apps that we have in Australia. They allow you to make regular deposits into Spaceship weekly, fortnightly or monthly. And if you haven't had a look at the Spaceship app yet, it is really, really nice. It is so user friendly and it just looks really great. So here are some things that you need to know about Spaceship. The first one is that you can start investing with $5. There are also three different portfolios to choose from. There's the Spaceship Universe portfolio. They invest in world changing companies according to Spaceship. And these companies include businesses like Spotify, Microsoft, Square, Apple, and Tesla. Over the past three years, the Spaceship Universe portfolio has performed really, really well. So they've had annual returns of 26.84%. These returns are amazing, but it is important to note that past performance does not indicate future performance. Because this is a high growth portfolio, they can have some really, really amazing years with amazing performance, but they can also have some negative performance years as well. So it is important to keep that in mind. The fees for investing in Spaceship Universe is actually free for under $5,000. And over $5,000, it's a 0.1% per year fee for balances over $5,000. And for balances over $5,000, the fee is 0.1% per year. The second portfolio option is the Spaceship Origin portfolio. And this invests in companies such as Apple, Johnson & Johnson, Berkshire Hathaway, Alphabet, and Amazon. Alphabet, by the way, is Google. Over the past three years, this portfolio has had annual returns of 11.24%. The fees are free for under $5,000. And above $5,000, the fees are 0.05% per year. And finally, there is the Spaceship Earth portfolio, which is a new portfolio. And this portfolio invests in companies that have had a positive impact on the planet and on people, including Atlassian, Spotify, First Solar, Starbucks, and Nvidia. So we can't currently see the performance of this portfolio because this portfolio was only founded in November, 2020. So the fees for the Spaceship Earth portfolio is under $5,000 are completely free and above $5,000, it is 0.1% per year. The Spaceship Universe and Earth portfolio are both actively managed funds, whereas the Origin portfolio actually invest in some passively managed ETFs. So that's why the fees are higher for the Earth portfolio and the Universe portfolio. So this all sounds great. What are the pros and cons of using Spaceship? Let's dive in. So the first pro of using Spaceship is the app is amazing and it is super easy to use. Definitely a very beginner friendly app. The second pro, which could be a pro or a con, depending on how you think, is that Spaceship mainly invests in technology stocks. The third pro is the fees are really, really low. No fees for 
for under $5,000 is a pretty good deal. And having fees of from 0.05% to 0.1% is pretty decent. So it is definitely one of the cheapest micro investing apps on the market. Another pro is it does give you three different investment options and you can choose to invest more passively in the Origin portfolio or in more of the actively managed funds, such as the Universe portfolio or the Earth portfolio. Now let's get into the cons of using Spaceship. One of the cons is you can't invest in multiple portfolios in the one account. Another con is it is not chess sponsored, which means that the underlying assets are not hold in your name. So there could potentially be some risks there. So if you like technology stocks and you don't like paying a lot of fees, Spaceship can be a really great option for you. And by the way, I do have an affiliate link down in my description below if you would like to check it out and we both get $5. So now let's talk about the second micro investing app in Australia, which is called Raise. Raise was previously known as Acorns and they allow you to invest through roundups, recurring investments and lump sum deposits. Here are some things that you should know about Raise. You can start investing with $5. There are also seven different portfolios to choose from. And let's go through these different portfolio options. There's the conservative portfolio option, which is mostly weighted towards fixed income and cash ETFs. So these are low risk, low return investments. And this is suited towards investors who want to use their money after a three to six month period. The second portfolio option is moderately conservative. This is another low risk, low return investment, but it does have the potential for higher returns than the conservative portfolio. This portfolio is suited to investors who have an investing time frame of about a year. Then there's a moderate portfolio. This portfolio has ETFs in Australian and international equity fixed income and cash. This has a moderate risk, moderate return potential. And this is designed for investors who have an investing time frame from two to three years. There's also the moderate aggressive portfolio. And this has international ETFs and Australian ETFs. This is more of a higher risk, higher return investment. And it's designed for investors with a three to five year investment horizon. And finally, there's the aggressive portfolio. And this portfolio has a mix of different ETFs in the international and Australian space. This has a high risk, high return potential. And it's designed for investors who have an investing horizon of from five to seven years. Something important to note about the aggressive portfolios is while they do have high risk, high return potential, they could have some more volatility in the short term and the possibility to have negative returns. There are two new additional portfolios and that is the Emerald portfolio and this is Razor's ethical portfolio. This invests in Australian and international ETFs that do have an ethical component. This portfolio invests in companies which are ESG, which stands for environmental, social, and corporate governance. And they're essentially seen as more ethical companies. The main companies that would make up this portfolio include companies in the technology and healthcare space. And the other portfolio is the Sapphire portfolio. This has a pretty high weighting towards Australian and international stocks, similar to the aggressive portfolio. And it also has a 5% Bitcoin allocation. So the minimum suggested investment period is five years and the risk rating is very high. So here are the fees for raise. For under $15,000, the fees are $3.50 per month, above $15,000 and the fees are 0.25% per year. It is important to note that since Raise invests in ETFs on your behalf, you will also be paying the management fees for the ETF that Raise invests in. But the management fees for these ETFs basically get passively taken out of your returns. So what are the pros and cons of investing in Raise? So one of the biggest pros of using Raise is they do have this amazing roundup feature. So basically what you can do is you can connect your bank account to Raise and then whenever you make a purchase, Purchase, Raise will automatically round up your investment and deposit the excess into your Raise account to be invested. So for example, if you buy a coffee and it's $3.50, Raise will round up that amount to $4 and then take that 50 cents and invest it for you. So it can be a pretty frictionless and pain-free way of starting to invest. Another benefit of using Raise is they do have quite a lot of different portfolios to choose from. They also have an amazing app, which is really great for beginners. And of course, they also have an ethical option as well. So here are some some of the cons of using Raise. The monthly fee of $3.50 per month doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you do have a small balance, this can start to eat away at your profits. Another con is that they are not chess sponsored, which means that all of your investments are not held in your individual name. So there could potentially be some risk there. However, it is important to note that these funds are insured. And by the way, if you would like to check out Raise for yourself, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below. So now let's check out the final micro investing app, 
up, which is Comsec Pocket. So Comsec Pocket allows you to invest in seven different ETFs and they have a $50 minimum investment. The seven different ETFs that you can choose from is the Aussie Top 200, which is IOZ, the Aussie Dividends ETF, which is SYI, the Global 100 ETF, which is IOO, the Emerging Markets ETF, which is IEM, the HealthWise ETF, which is IXJ, the Sustainability Leaders ETF, which is Ethi, and finally the Tech Savvy ETF, which is NDQ. So Comsec Pocket has a $2 brokerage fee for trades under $1,000. And for trades above $1,000, the fee is 0.2%. Plus, it is important to note that you will be passively paying the management fees for these different ETFs. And the management fees for these ETFs range from 0.09% to 0.67%. And these management fees basically get taken out of your returns. So what are the pros and cons of investing in Comsec Pocket? So the first pro is you can start investing with $50. The second pro is they do have an automatic investing feature. The app is also super easy to use, especially if you are a Commonwealth Bank customer. And it is chess sponsored, which means that your shares will be owned by you. Here are the cons of investing in Comsec Pocket. The first con is you have seven different ETFs to choose from. The other con is it might not be as cost effective as some of the other micro investing apps, but it is pretty cost effective if you do want to invest in lump sums of $1,000 or more, especially when you compare it to other full service brokerages. That is an overview of three of the biggest micro investing apps in Australia. Make sure you tap the like button on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos about investing and personal finance. And because you made it all the way to the end of the video, I wanted to thank you guys so much. So write me a comment below with the word popcorn in it, just so I know you watch this video all the way through. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. And if you want more videos, don't worry, I got you. Here are some links to some videos that you can watch. So make sure you click the links and click through to another video.